middle school math teacher if you are wanting to run stations but are concerned that you either have too much time or too little time this video is for you i'm going to be sharing with you exactly how i run middle school math stations whether or not you have 45 minute classes or 90 minute classes or something in between if we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and Algebra 1 math. Running stations is totally possible no matter the length of your classroom. Whether you have 45 minutes or 90 minute classes, 87 minutes, anything in between, stations is possible. Now, obviously, if you have a longer block of time typically teachers who have you know are on block schedule in that and have like 90 minutes or so that's more ideal than a 45 minute class period but i know everybody is different so if i had 90 minute classes which i have had and i've also had 45 minute classes and i've done stations no matter what our schedule looks like that year um, here is how I would run stations if I had 90 minute classes. This is a full breakdown of exactly what I do. So I typically teach direct instruction Monday and Tuesdays. So Monday and Tuesdays, these are non-station days. So we are, I'm teaching new concepts. Um, I might teach something new on both days. I might teach something new on one of the days. And then the other days we're just kind of like reviewing. It kind of just depends on where I'm at, what we're teaching, if the students are understanding. There's obviously a little bit more outside kind of factors involved, but typically it is Monday, Tuesday, direct instruction. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we do 30 minute whole class review, and then we will do stations for the last hour. Same with Thursday, 30 minute whole class review, and then stations the whole hour. And then Friday, it's usually tests we'll do a classroom game we all come back together um culminating you know catch up whatever whatever um that may look like now if you are wondering well how do i run my stations if i have 45 uh minute classes i'm going to pull up my image here for you okay so you can see here that i have several slides here that i want to show you but let's start off with this top part if you have 45 minute classes, okay? So when we have non-station days, here is how my classroom is broken up. We will do 45 minutes, or 45 minutes, we will do five to 10 minutes of a warm up. We will review homework for five to 10 minutes. There will be direct instruction, 15, 20 minutes. And then you will have five to 10 minutes of my students, you know, doing independent work, going, reviewing homework, what have you, so on and so forth, okay? These are non-station days. On station days, we will start off with, again, five, 10 minutes of a warm up to get our brains going, get that blood flowing. And then we will do 20 to 30 minutes of, a, of stations each. So we will run two stations. Um, I will either run two stations or four stations, meaning your students, if I'm running two stations that day, students will switch. Um, if I'm running four stations a day, which I'll get to in a second, um, students will do one station a day and then rotate all throughout the week. Okay, so here is uh, what it could look like. So Monday, we have whole class instruction. Tuesdays, I will have two different stations. So station A is task cards, station B is technology. So it's task cards might be reviewing integers, the technology is reviewing just simple multiplication facts. Wednesday, we're reteaching, we're reviewing before we're doing stations again. We might be thinking to ourselves, what worked yesterday during station time? What didn't? What do I need to go over? What do I need to focus on? You know, we're just kind of reassessing on Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to run stations again. We got a coloring page, and then this is where my teacher station comes in, in which they'll check out the rest of the YouTube channel for um, what to do during your stations. Uh, at your teacher station because that's a whole nother video. Um, and then Friday, again, test, classroom game, culminating, et cetera, et cetera. It's totally, totally doable. You do, if you have a, if you are in that 45 to 50 minute class period, you do kind of have to figure out what is the flow 
Um, but my suggestion is Monday, Wednesday, teaching, Tuesday, Thursday, we're rotating stations, and then Friday, we're catching up. So tell me, do you have 45 minute classes or do you have 90 minute classes? How are you running stations in them? I'd love to know. If you want more in depth, I have more slides, more images, more freebies um, to give you about stations. Check out my full training on easy, realistic, math stations in your middle school math class because it is truly the most effective strategy to close those learning gaps, experience more of those aha moments, and really to reach all of your learners. See you at our next training.